All right, we'll spectate Emong this time um, for this set of games. Another King's Row game. You know what? So as, as, less than three. as a King's Row lover, I'm glad I, we were the only ones that didn't pick it. <laughs> Wanted is a sleeper. I mean, I tried to get Wanted. I asked, I tried to trade last night to Eevee. I tried to trade for Wanted and Amori. Where are I gonna trade? Uh, I think I, I offered Beaver, Ruben, and, and Ski, so. But she didn't think it was a fair trade, and I was like, okay. I, I thought it was a very fair trade, but I understand Wanted's value, so. How many teams is it? There's four teams. All right, let's actually watch this now. Emong is full charge. I'm telling you right now, when Emong gets his bubbles back up, they're gonna win this fight. He's just gonna walk in and everyone's gonna die. Watch, it doesn't have block. This is about to be the biggest clap you ever seen. Watch this. Uses just punch in, gets right, yeah. It's, Doomfist is not that good. Like, Doomfist, okay, that's not true. Doomfist is actually pretty good, um, but you have to hit every cooldown with it. If you don't nail every cooldown with it, it doesn't do that well uh, since the nerfs. So, I think he, I think they nerfed him a little too hard, honestly. I think he needs a small, slight buff, but I'm okay with, like, taking away his, like, speed. <laughs> I know what he was trying to do. So they've called for a pause here, actually. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know why they removed it either. They didn't remove the javelin. The javelin's still a thing. They just nerfed it. The, they nerfed it so hard. It's not like it's something you have to save now. It's not like a like a dynamic part of her kit. It's you save it now, you know, which is kind of dumb. But regardless, oh yeah. So getting back actually into it though at this point, I, I think that to be honest with you, I think Emong's team is just a million times stronger here, even with Sanju on DPS. I love Sanju, but his DPS is not that good. Uh, kind of like mine last game. My DPS was fucking terrible. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the Doomfist matchup versus Zarya, this is just, this is almost hilarious because, you know, he just, just keep going for the block. And Emong is one of the most disciplined players I've ever met. So he's not going to waste a... Uh, he doesn't even grab there. Like that was, that could have been like a, one of those moments like, oh, I'm going to grab and save my team. Nope. He knows. He knows he has to save it. They used fucking... They, they used like all of they all of their ults except one. They used Sojourn. They used Nano. They used Dragon, and they used can Slam. Oh, big gravy. Huge. And they'll, they'll take second off that. Yeah, listen. Quake is a really good Doomfist, but he's at, uh, he is out of his elements in, in the, this tank matchup. Emong is playing a hero that he's been playing for literally years. Teams are pretty even um, across the board. I would say that probably there's a slight DPS advantage um, to the other team because Wanted and, uh, and Arsh together. Although barcode is insane, but oh, she, they actually swapped Queen. Oh man, why would you swap that? This Queen just loses hard to Zarya. Like Zarya, like like Zarya is actually the counter to Queen. So that's a very interesting swap. Uh, considering I I think Elon probably could go get this kill if he wanted. He waited a little bit too long, actually, but still secures the kill. They're still pushing. Like, this is all all good stuff. Even if they come out here... Oh, Somnus has got the res. Somnus has always got res ready to go. Somnus' mercy is just nuts. As his bubble's good to go. He's going to be full energy. After this reload, oh, man, people are going to be in trouble in a sec. Yep, there's the nano. Oh, boy. Wouldn't be surprised if yep, he swaps over to the, the, the Sojourn, gets the huge right click. Gonna get another right click. Oh, it doesn't actually connect on that one, though. Doesn't matter, though. They have no touch. This is this is actually just an easy tank diff. No offense to, to Quake in any way, shape, or form. Just, it's hard to, you're gonna have a hard time beating Emong on, on a very good Zarya on King's Row. 
it, with that team matchups, it just the teams are very even, and uh, the tank matters a lot. Tank matchups kind of feel like rock paper scissors. Uh, no, I mean it would be rock paper scissors if you played rock paper scissors like in like in like elementary school where you have rock paper scissors gun. And basically the rock paper scisors is like, uh, uh, Ryan is paper, uh, rock is uh, like Winston, scissors is Zarya, and then gun is just like Sigma. <laughs> then just roll. Like Sigma and Ball, I think have like a 95% win or pick rate in Overwatch League, and like the 5% is Doomfist. That's because it's not the nerfed Doomfist, it's like the previous Doomfist iteration. I don't think Ryan gets played anymore outside of uh, Hattie and, and um, uh, and London Spitfire, which hasn't got the new nerf when the nerf hits from this beta. Uh, I think that'll pretty much disappear. Um, also, oh, we're watching the wrong person. I just realized. There you go. Uh, and then Winston also got nerfed. So, yeah. Oh my, dude, he was sitting there watching that. Now, I would have probably bubbled instantly. You know, because I would have been afraid of the headshot, but that was so smart. Takes the punch. Oh, he's getting rolled. Need some help. Did MLF go out the other way? Is that why healing seems to be a little bit low at the moment? Yeah. It appears to be the case. I'm gonna touch though. Yeah, Emo's gonna get it one tapped. Yeah, I think they're uh I think the positioning over on on Yamong's team, red team, was a little interesting there. Uh, MLIF was set up in the hallway on the left. It's a very odd place to sit, because you're kind of isolated from your team, and if you get isolated out, they just die. So, um, I think with a little bit of a positioning fix, that doesn't probably happen. But overall, still very much in the driver's seat of this game. Ooh. Oh, that, you couldn't ask for more. 80 charge to start this next fight? Most wanted. They're not gonna be able to get that, I don't think, because the how how high charge Emong is. They're gonna try. Oh, they're gonna try. Ends up kind of being a waste of a Valk though. They end up not getting a whole lot of value out of it. The grab? Nope. Literally nobody was in it. I like that little standoff. That was that was nice. Uh, that was like the actual hello there. Not greedy at all. I think I think that's probably what makes Emong such a good tank player in a lot of ways, and why people enjoy watching him a lot. Is he's not greedy in any way, shape, or form. Like I'm a very greeter tank player. I hold W, and it gets me killed a lot. And don't get me wrong, there's times where he should hold W, or he could hold W and he gets kills, but he decides not to, but... Um, like, most of the time, it's actually the correct call to play it more safe. And the Nanoblade comes out. Yep. Like, wait, Wanted Pop's actually old? Oh. Ooh. Wanted. I don't know about that one, buddy. So there's a Doomfist in the back line. They all know it. They're gonna about a 1v5 him. Never mind. Quake just flew across the map. That's... He's not doesn't play tank very often, but he knows Doomfist, let me tell you. So this this is so strong. We have a mercy pocket on the high ground, they can't really force them out up there there because their tank doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It's mostly like a CC tank. And, uh, oh, there it is. So, Wanted had to be the one to take the duel, and Wanted actually just goes up, big dicks it, and wins. Holy shit. Like, that's the, that is such a low percentage chance win. Like, like the, the defense there was actually really good. Like, that shouldn't, that shouldn't happen that often. But that was a, that was a, that was what they call big balls, big ball play. Already nice. Got some energy. Arco gets the big pick. Grab's coming. Just win. There it is. Only get one though. Emong is low charge, so he can do a whole lot. Bring me 
I noticed that Quake actually, uh... He actually charges his punch and then swaps to block because people will shoot at him uh, while he has block up. Or sorry, the punch up, so it's easier to get damage for the block, which is a very interesting uh, tactic, but it's pretty smart. I'm actually kind of surprised on how rolled they're getting right now. Um, like, genuinely. Oh, here it is. The patented Diva Swap. I think the fun has ended for the enemy team. Unless he got discorded. Oh, Emong is discorded right now. He got discorded then trying to... Uh-oh. Well, never mind. Maybe Emong's fun's over. Oh, they got the kill. Nice. Getting the tank kill there is huge. They don't have a point presence now. Oh, but Ewan actually ties. Oh, interesting. Oh, if Wanted didn't have the, if Wanted didn't have that shot charged up, I think that they probably remix there. So actually, a good attack back. Um, off the honestly, their, their support line just hard, hard staying alive. Putting Discord on Emon constantly. To be honest with you, this is kind of why I have a big problem with Discord. Um, not because I don't think that Zen shouldn't have the ability to get kills, uh, but more of the opposite, that I think that it should always be a, an active ability. Uh, and Discord Orb is very much an Overwatch 1 type of ability where you just leave it on them and just forget about it. It's not something where you have to actively be using it the entire time. This should only stay on target for 45 seconds. It needs to be on an 8 second cooldown-ish. That's, that's still way too strong. Four to five seconds, so that there's a three second window where it's not on them. And also, does that not break with LOS anymore? I don't know. I just, that's why we're not game designers. We talk about it's way better to talk about how things feel and why they, they feel good or feel bad than to like, like, oh, like this is the solution because like most of us don't know shit, myself included. The barrier has fallen. I think I'll get the kill here on Quake. It's just so slippery on the Doomfist. It really is. I think that's the, probably the biggest problem here. Also, you know Emong's gotten serious because he pulled out the Sigma. Emong pulled out the Sigma and now the game's gotten a little serious. I love how the attack side is new plan. It just appears to be pocket wanted really, really fucking hard. And I uh, hope he makes things go El Gito Delito. Which he does appear to be doing in a lot of ways. Just, you know. But he might as well have flux here, so, uh, good luck. Oh, he gets punched out of his flux! But they still win the fight off of it, so it's still kind of worth it. Oh my god, that was a good punch. I actually almost got barcode. Oh, and barcode goes down. But they got the res. So, has Samju... Where has Samju been? I feel like Samju just gets po poked out every fight. That's a big nano. That's a huge nano. You know, Emong actually has decided to just not even shoot at Quake. It's not even worth his time. I mean, realistically, it's kind of not worth his time, you know, because it's just so slippery. Doofus is so hard to hit. Great job on the disengage, too, making sure to stay alive here. Because they're the rest of the team actually died early, so they're already here. If you look to his right right now, he'd see his teammates. So they're already ready to go with this fight. Right, like, everybody's here. Stacked up. The barrier. Ooh. Ooh. Big EMP out of Samju. After this, here we go. Here it comes. Oh my. Gets two. Will it be enough though? I actually don't think it's enough. Wait, barcode, 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 barcode. 
Barcode? It was enough. It was enough. Barcode cleans it up. That was... Oh. The discipline to kill. Wait for the res to finish. Wait for the trank to finish. And then whoop, whoop. Boom. Gets the 2k. Barcode cleans it up. That's textbook. That's a textbook how to finish off an OT fight. So... What are the keys here? I don't think that, I don't think they're playing Widow. They may be playing Widow for the spawn peak, but key here basically is Pocket Emong on point to, to push their point off, and then on top of that, collapsing onto Quake. When Quake goes deep for his team, if they collapse on him and they kill him, that's their key. Oh, he realizes it. Emong knows. So if you don't know what Emong's defensive Diva style is, Emong never holds W on Diva. Okay, never mind. He's not playing Diva. <laughs> he still plays very, 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 very defensive on D.Va. He's not aggro. He just sits there and babies his supports. So I figured that's probably what he was going to look for there. Just looking to counter the Doomfist type of deal. But, uh, he just thinks he can do it already. Oh my god, that was a great rock. So they're actually going to be able to walk into point here in a second. When Emong shields, shield, charges back up. Uh, but Wanted's doing a pretty good job of forcing him out. Nobody's pressuring Wanted. They can pressure Wanted out. Oh my god, another rock. Here it is. Okay, so here's the play. This is when they start to walk into point a little bit. It needs a little help, though, because there's someone on the right. Yeah, I don't know if Emong sees the Ana that's just, like, chilling over on the right side right now, just hard healing. Has he noticed? Is that Ana just sitting there? Should be dead? Oh, oh, it begins. Nope. Rock got too long to get there. I'm actually really confused on what's taking um, the rest of the team to kind of get in to help Yvonne here a little bit, because he should have more than enough space to move. But the big anti, there it is. That's all you needed. You needed something, you needed some type of follow-up play, because the space was made. The space was already there, so. Yvonne has got flex. Um, other side's gonna have Nano soon, but I don't know if they'll have it in time, probably. Um, considering it, they're probably going to be respawning in, there's going to be a few seconds before the fights, but, you know, it's going to be an interesting one. Don't go over the retake? Kill Wanted? Kill Wanted? Wow, it doesn't kill Wanted. That's not good, because there's the... Uh-oh. Doesn't kill Wanted? Wow, Wanted's getting everything, huh? Uh, dude, I, this guy got every single resource of the whole book, and they've retake it. Oh, my. So that was actually a huge mistake by Elon's team. Nobody committed ults. Only Elon committed an ult. No nano, no no uh, EMP, or Sojourn ult. Sojourn ult, I kind of understand keeping, but when they committed in hard with all of their ults, that should have been like the we need to use something back fight, but... They used all five of their ults. Emong's team only used one, so this should be a W, this fight. Um, pretty much no question. Yep, and they cap because nobody touches. Yeah, fucking barcode's going crazy up top. Actually, I don't think they can touch. I actually, if they keep three, nobody can touch. Wanted might be able to get, like, a quick one, but... No, they don't have anyone. It's GG. Damn. Good plays. Good plays. Not bad. <clears throat> Not bad.